Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are brand new, again, thank you for stopping by and uh, consider subscribing if you like what you see. For today's video, I am participating in a uh, collab hosted by Jun Junkernecker um, as well as Indie Annie Jones. Both ladies have amazing channels um they both do home decor diy crafts um have super unique and cool styles um some have like um there's some farmhouse there's some unique stuff so just make sure you check them out because they're both super cool channels um what we had to do for this um collaboration is we had to um either diy or upcycle an old bird house or a bird cage so i kind of i did both. I upcycled an old birdhouse that I had and I decorated an old bird cage that I used to decorate quite a bit with and then I kind of stopped. So I'm not entirely sure where this birdhouse came from. Um, it says Dollarama at the bottom but I don't know that I purchased it or maybe I did. I'm not sure. But I can, my son had drawn on it, so maybe I did it for a craft. I don't remember, but it had been sitting around in my basement for a little while, and I found it when we were cleaning stuff out, so I thought it would be perfect for this project. So what I'm going to start is, I'm not sure why you can't see that, why the camera is glaring so much, but what I'm doing is using my um, Rust-Oleum linen white chalked paint, and I'm going to paint the whole birdhouse white. So for such a small project, it's, I mean, you can use whatever brush you'd like. I just used the one that was kind of closest to me, and it's just a cheap little Dollar Tree brush. Um, it's a nice and small one, so I can get into some of the nooks. Um, I'm not sure why I'm using that board to cut to protect my table since I've painted all over it, but anyway, apparently... I'm trying not to paint over it now, but sometimes I do things and I don't even know why. But anyway, so I'm painting over top of the um, the wood, just kind of trying to get all, all of the paint on there. So once the white paint dried off, I, want, I decided I wanted the roof to kind of look like a tin aged uh, copper roof. So I'm going to use my Annie Sloan Duck Egg Blue paint to paint over the roof and then I'm going to add some other colors. I'm going to add um, liquid copper as well as espresso and uh, metallic gold. The espresso and metallic gold are just acrylic paints from Dollar Tree. The liquid copper is from Michaels and it's a small little bottle. It was quite expensive. I don't even remember how much it was but it lasts forever and I absolutely love it. So once that dried off, I went ahead and I applied, um, as I said, the liquid gold, liquid copper, um, metallic gold, and espresso colors. Um, I also am going to use the espresso to. I sorry, I also use the espresso to age the side of the um, the birdhouse. So I just wanted to distress it a little bit. So again, I I've shown you distressing many times. So, um, but when I distress, I just use a thinner brush and I just dry brush basically the darker color on. Um, sometimes I use black. Sometimes I use brown. This time I use the espresso. So these are the two colors that I'm going to be doing the roof on, um, as well as the liquid copper. So as with any of the distressing or aging techniques, I find that for me what works is I apply a little bit and I usually um, dry it, like I put a very little on the brush and then I even like dab it off on either a paper towel or a cardboard like I'm doing here. And then I just put it in like little spots on the piece that I'm doing and I do a little bit, then I take a look at it, then I do a little bit more if I need a little bit more. And sometimes I do wind up going back with the original paint just to cover up if I've done too much. Um, I absolutely love this liquid copper. It's It's got that metallic finish. It's, it's just such a beautiful color. Um, it's liquid copper. It's gilding copper, I believe is what it's called. Um, 
The bottle is very old, so I doubt that it looks like that anymore because, I, like I said, I got it a few years ago, and I've used it on several projects. So then after that, I added just the gold and metallic just to give the colors a little bit more depth because I find if you want it, want it to look aged, um, it doesn't always look perfectly one color or another, so this will kind of give it that look. So there you have it. Now here's the finished roof and the finished side of the house. Um, I'll show it displayed a little bit later, but I think it turned out really, really nice and it it's giving that kind of copper roof look where the copper is kind of um, turning blue. For the bird cage, I have this old bird cage that I used to use quite a bit in my decor, but then for some reason I stopped. And then I have this little pot. It's It kind of looks like it's an aged pot. I think it was just outside, and so it is aged from the elements. Um, but I thought it would look really great in here. Um, and then I have a little bird's nest that I made just with some moss and just an old basket. And these um, these leaves are magnolia leaves from Doll or Rama, I believe. And I'm just gonna shove them here at the bottom, just so the because at at the bottom of the birdcage there's like a little uh, little piece of metal, so that's why that pot is sitting on that, and so it's empty underneath. So I'm just going to add this so it looks like it's full, and it kind of gives the element of um, branches from a tree and the little nest being on top of those branches. The little bird is also from Dollar Tree. Um, I actually bought it several years ago. I use it throughout my seasons. I usually use it for Easter and I'll use it for my summer decor. So here are the finished pieces and I have them displayed in my front hallway just on my dresser. I love the way they turned out. I think they're super cute. Um, amazing little pieces and I'm happy I did this challenge because I really like the way they turned out. If you guys really enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing it'll help my channel out. Hit that notification bell and um, leave me a comment let me know what you think of these. Uh, make sure you check out the playlist because there'll be some super cool um, decor, uh, home, bird cage and birdhouse, either DIYs or decors. It'll just be super cool to see everyone's, how everyone's created their version of a of an upcycled birdhouse or birdcage. So thanks for stopping by and have an excellent day and stay safe.